Hello and welcome to Medicine in 5 Minutes. My name is Dr. Moses Kazevu. This is a series on my YouTube channel where we look at medical topics in the shortest space of time. In this episode of Medicine in 5 Minutes, we shall look at pretty much childhood exanthems, or you can refer to them as childhood rashes. In this specific episode, we shall look at chickenpox. Remember that these exanthems are usually transmitted via air droplets entering the respiratory tract or direct contact. Most of them are often self-resolving, so they are self-limiting, and they only rarely need specific treatment, such as a cyclovir. They commonly affect children, but they may also affect adults. Remember that chickenpox is caused by varicella zoster virus, which belongs to the family Herpes Viridae, pretty much human herpes virus 3. It has an incubation period of 1 to 3 weeks, and usually the rash is infectious from two days before and five days after the symptoms start, which is usually when the lesions crossed over. Clinical features include a prodrome of two days of fever, there may be crops of papules, then they eventually become vesicles, then eventually they become pastules, and then they eventually crossed over. It may start off from the head, the trunk, and the back and usually spreads to the periphery. Diagnosis is mainly clinical, but you may do some investigations such as a polymerase chain reaction or PCR to detect varicella zoster virus and skin lesions, this is usually most specific. You may also order some blood investigations such as immunoglobulin M and immunoglobulin G against the varicella zoster virus that may be checked in the blood. Complications may be acute or long term. Acute complications include secondary bacterial infection which usually happens when the child scratches their skin and causes abrasions of the skin and this breaks the defense of the skin. You may be infected with Staphylococcus aureus, group A streptococcus, which may lead to toxic shock syndrome or necrotizing fasciitis. There may be an encephalitis, namely a cerebellitis. There may be pneumonia, as well as disseminated intravascular coagulation. Long-term complications include shingles. Management of the condition is mostly conservative. You may give analgesia and antipyretics. Paracetamol is advised. We generally want to avoid aspirin because it may complicate into Reyes syndrome. You also want to avoid NSAIDs, which are the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs because they carry an increased risk of severe skin as well as soft tissue complications. You may also give this child some calamine lotion, which contains zinc oxide. Even though this hasn't yet been tested clinically on its efficacy, it has been shown to help in these cases. You may also want to consider antivaricella zoster immunoglobulins, plus cyclovir, especially in neonates, in immunocompromised individuals, and patients that are at risk of complications, such as patients with cardiovascular disease and patients with respiratory problems. Avoid school until five days from the rash onset and when the rash fully recovers, or when the rash is fully crusted over. Some obstetric complications or obstetric considerations that we need to take place is if a mother gets infected with this virus especially before 20 weeks because remember organogenesis happens in the early trimester in the early first trimester so there may be some complications such as intrauterine growth restriction limb hypoplasia microcephaly cataracts and if a mother that has been previously unexposed that is pregnant and then gets exposed to varicella zoster virus you want to ensure that you check for the vzv immunoglobulin g in the blood if it's negative and it is less than 10 days since the exposure, you want to give her VZV, which is varicella zoster virus immunoglobulins. Thank you for taking your time to listen to this episode of Medicine in 5 Minutes. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button to help for the algorithm and share the channel as you are at it. Please drop a comment in the comment box below. My name is Dr. Moses Kazevu. Until next time, bye-bye.